Hey, today we're going to be making a trinket dish. Trinket dishes can be used for so many different things. So for example, you could use it to hold curry incense or keys. Um, you could poke a little hole in it and use it as a stick incense holder. You can use it for when you're cooking, if you've got like olives or relishes, jams, anything like that. Pretty much anything that you want to find a place for, a trinket dish is a great way to do that. Another really fun way to use them is if you are making a platter, you could put something like honeycomb or cheese or olives, anything like that onto a little plate just like this one. I'm gonna start with a ball of clay. I always use a piece of fabric underneath when I'm rolling out a slab just so that you can lift your piece up. I'm going to start rolling it out, turning it each time, and I'm flipping it. Alright, so once you're relatively happy with the thickness, and I usually go by about, you know, like the size of my finger here. I'm going to get my rib tool and I've got a little bit of water on it and I'm just going to start compressing. Flip it over to the other side. I'm just going to freehand. So, use your needle tool to draw out some shapes that you want to do for your plate. Might do a couple of quirky shapes. And then once you've got them all cut out, lift away any inside material and put that to the side because we're going to make our foot with that. All right, so I've got my shapes here. I'm going to use a little bit of water on my fingers just to go around the edge. You could also use the edge of your sponge if you wanted to. So then you're just going to roll out a coil and this is going to be your foot ring. So you need to try and keep it as even as possible. So this is going to be the bottom of our plate. So we're going to put a foot ring on each one and then we're going to flip it over and then we're going to raise up those edges for our trinket dish. The reason that this wouldn't work for a large plate is because if you have more of a flat surface obviously it's going to be like a little bit wobbly. So this technique will work for a smaller plate. However, for a larger plate, you'll need to use a different technique. I will be doing a video on this a little bit later on, so make sure you subscribe. So you just place your coil and we want to be on the inside edge. How do you think you want it to go? And the trick with placing these is that you want to have this part here is where your rim will um, lean up. So if you have it all the way to the edge, you're not going to have anything to pull. You'll need to make sure that you've got a little bit of an edge there to, you know, allow you to have a rim. If you just push it on like that, it's not going to hold. We need to score. And for the life of me, I can't actually find my tool today. So we're going to just score. Once you've got your little foot ring on, 
what we're going to do is we need to blend it into the base of our little plate. So I'm going to use this part of my tool. You could use, if you've got a wooden tool or even like a, a knife or something like that, you could use, you could use that to help you get the edge down. And the key here is that we're thinking about compressing the clay. So I'm going to go all the way around the outside edge and then all the way around the inside edge. Alright, now that you've done that, we're going to go around, we're going to smooth it all up. So I'm going to use water to help me a little bit here. And I'm going to use my thumb and my fingers to get that really smooth finish. The reason we have a foot ring, like this one here, is so that it's going to hold our item off the table. Alright, so once you've got your feet on, what we're going to do is we're going to flip these all over. And what you'll find is, because they are small, they will sort of support themselves a little bit. Now what we want to do, and having the fabric that will really help with this, if you don't have fabric, um, it might be hard to get off the table. What we want to do is we want to use the foot ring as a guide for where the plate is going to lift up. So all I'm doing is I'm squeezing with my fingers, pinch, pinch, pinch. And sort of lifting up and I guess the main part here is that we want to compress where that bend is and we want to make sure that we really tell the clay where it needs to go ideally what we want to do with the foot ring is have it so it starts to lift as soon as the foot ring ends a foot ring ends here and then it's going to lift up from there If you've got any like little finger divots, just smooth them out a little bit. We don't want to put too much pressure here because you know that that, like this part here is supported by our foot ring, but we know that the inside here is just empty. So we don't want to put too much pressure there. Okay, so once we've got a good lift on that side edge, the next thing that we want to do is refine that rim a little bit. Now, one of the biggest things that makes a plate or a trinket dish look really nice is that you don't have a really squared off edge. So all I'm doing for this is I'm just using my, my pointer and my thumb and I'm just sort of, you know, swiping it around. You could use a little bit of water too if you want to get a nice smooth finish. You could also use your sponge. Use your sponge to go around, so two fingers and then kind of give it a little bit of a squeeze. So you can see the difference between this one here and this one here. It looks a little bit more refined. Now one of the things with plates is that they need to be dried on a flat surface very slowly. So if you start to dry your little plate or trinket dish really quickly, then you might find that you'll get little cracks. So make sure you dry it nice and slow. Alright, so there we have our three little trinket dishes. All done. Now I think the main points are just to remember that you want the lift to be coming up from the foot ring. If it's not, what can happen is your plate can slump backwards. That's all for today. I hope that you learned a little bit about how to make a trinket dish. If you do make any, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you make. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you for the next video.